Hello, and welcome back to the Wells Family Journey. I'm Damien. So, as you can see, I'm back in my original setting. <laughs> uh, started out my YouTube channel outside, pretty much. Uh, doing a few readings and whatnot. But if you're curious to see why I'm outside today, stay tuned after, after these brief seconds, and we'll get into it. Hi, and welcome back. So, I decided to start my video today. I don't know if I should start calling these videos vlogs or just videos. Because I don't know. I, you know, it's not like a daily diary. It's just, you know, bits and pieces of what I choose to, uh, to film, you know, on certain days of my life. But, uh, so I'm outside today. It's uh, technically my day off. I'm choosing to stay home from my other job as well today. And, you know, I, I was up until about 1 or 2 in the morning last night just thinking about how I can get my, my daily schedule down. Because uh, one job I work four days a week, and the other job that I have, which is, I'm sorry, so my night job is four days a week, and my, my daily job is pretty much volunteer i i can pick and choose when i come in when i come in what time i i go home and it's basically you know it's just that's how i get paid so <laughs> so i'm i was always trying to flip floppy you know i was trying to figure out that good rhythm and you know i started thinking to myself i was like i want to start getting back into shape start exercising you know during during the COVID, I gained like 40, 45 pounds and it needs to come off. You know, it's not good for my knees, not good for my heart, and it's not good for anybody's general health, just carrying around extra weight that you don't need. So early in the morning, I was up just thinking, how can I do this? You know, and, and then I realized, you know what, for the four days that I work at night, I might as well just work during the, that morning to leave leave at a certain time so that I can get to my night job on time and work those four days pretty much. So, but the main reason why I'm outside today is cause let me, let me show you, let me turn this camera around and all right, hopefully you can hear me loud enough train. The main part of the train just went by the engine. So I might be able to talk loud enough that you can hear me. So this is my front yard. I'm outside my front yard right now. Look at that. Tulips are starting to bloom. Apparently this year the rabbits didn't want to eat all my tulips that we had. These are left over from like three years ago. <laughs> but, uh, so we're out of my front yard. And look at this grass. So I just cut this grass last week. And it is, it is grown back already. This is ridiculous. So living in a, a housing area with HOA, I need to keep up on this. Oh, well, look at that. I don't know if you see that, but there, there's one of the corporates, culprits right there. Yeah, we see you, bunny. Always eating all my, my tulips. These things are expensive. It's not food. There you go. And deer. We have deer in here. So this is my front yard. I just cut this grass last week and it is growing again. I've, you know, I've tried numerous times to, I guess, fertilize this grass and the train's getting louder again. I say, you know, I've done so much that I could think of within my own means to take care of this grass. I bought fertilizer, seed, I've raked out the moss, you know, and whatnot, and it's just, it doesn't grow very good. I know uh, one of my friends said that they spent about $3,000 doing their front lawn through a lawn service. And I, you know, personally, I don't have $3,000 to spend on 
this, that. And HOA just always tells you, oh, you got to cut it. It's not within regulations. It's too long. It's too short. You need to water it, whatnot. But here I am. I'm in my front yard. So today, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing more yard work. I need to get in here and pull out all the weeds, the, the big things of grass keep growing back. As many times I chop it down, pull it out, it just keeps growing back. You know, hopefully these critters in my neighborhood right here, yeah, Mr. Rabbit and deer. I haven't seen any deer this year yet, but I'm sure I'm sure they come around. But yeah, you know, I plant tulips all throughout this this little uh, bed that I have here, and they don't grow here. I wonder why. <laughs> Probably because of that guy right there. But yeah, we have rose bushes here and whatnot, and that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to do some maintenance in my front yard, get it cleaned up again. So I'm not going to bore you with me cleaning up my yard for the next three hours, but uh, another reason why I chose to, to uh, not go into work today is because I have a vet clinic appointment for my dogs or two of my dogs this afternoon and uh they're they're older dogs and you know they're getting up there in age uh lala my white dog has like a cyst or tumor growing on her stomach for like past year you know couldn't really do too much last year due to the pandemic whatnot so she didn't go to the vet and now that I'm finally employed again I can afford to take my my all my pets all five of my pets to the vets again so had two done already about two months ago now I'm doing two and I got one more to go <laughs> but uh so taking Lala and Honey to the vet the reason why I gotta take Honey to the vet as well at the same time is because uh friday afternoon i was told she started uh walking sideways and and uh and just not walking right and to me it looks it looks like she either has an ear infection lost her hearing or had a stroke or, or a seizure or something like that because that's to me, just seeing how she is, I noticed that, uh, I guess other dogs that that happened to has, that's how they've acted afterwards. And so we're going to take her to the vet and keep my fingers crossed, you know, hoping, you know, I guess some medication or some more, uh, shots, she might return back to normal, but I, I want to say she's about 14 years old now. So... I just cross my fingers that, you know, hopefully she'll improve over time, get better. And worst case scenarios is that we won't, we would have to put her down, which I really don't want to do. I love all my, all my dogs and I want them to live out their life to the fullest without us having to interject. Cause man, when I get old, I don't want my kids to put me down, but, uh, so enough ranting today. I'm going to get this yard work started, get this grass cut, and, uh, you know, I'll just show you the finished product, you know, probably just look better than what it normally is now, but hey, all right, let's get to it. 